Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas, excited about the Christian Business Connection. God is doing some great things. I want to tell you that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. This is a great day. This is a day that none of us has ever seen. So let's put our faith in God that we know it's going to be great, great, great. Well, I've, I'm going to tell you, I've got a great show. Can, can I tell you that? And I'm positive. I know it to be true because God put it together. We've got some phenomenal guests on our program today. There are so many great events that are coming up in the St. Louis metropolitan area. And they're going to be talking about those and just sharing some things about their business and their ministries. I also want to take this moment to thank everyone who attended our CBC evening of Synergy. It was fantastic. We give God the glory, the connections, the relationships that were started there. God truly did it. So I thank my guests who were there. I thank everybody for being a part of the evening of synergy now you got to stay tuned because we'll be announcing soon the next evening of synergy networking event glory to god let me tell you if you would like to have the cbc radio show featured at your location or if you would like to have our next evening of synergy at your business give me a call 314-270-2225 314-270-2225 2225. Also, if you'd like to be interviewed on this program, we'd love to talk to you about that as well. Well, I want to tell you that um, this is a special announcement. Oh, my goodness. To God be the glory for what he has done and what he's doing. I want to announce on the program today that this week coming up, we will be debuting the Christian Business Connection television show. Glory to God. Only he can do it. Can we just give God some hand praise for what he has done? Bless his name. Well, friends, it's going to be debuting on charter and look you've got to go to my website to get all the exciting information go to my website the cbc radio show.com go to my website so you can find out all the times that the show is airing it's airing three times a week and it is simply going to be fantastic we have other mediums that you'll be able to see the show as well oh my goodness just go to the website Well, let me tell you about my guest today. The Lord has blessed. We're going to have on the program Miss Kimberly Ward of Kim's Herb and Detox Center. The Lord is doing a great thing, a great thing with her business. She just opened in Olivet. So she's going to talk about that. Kimberly Ward of Kim's Herb and Detox Center. We're also going to have on the program Bishop Prentice Thomas, dear friend of the CBC radio show. You see, he's going to be talking about his upcoming image of God conference. You don't want to miss that. And then we're going to have on the program Pastor Doris Bracely of Stepping Into the Light Ministry. She's going to be talking about the upcoming women's conference. Oh, I love the theme, y'all. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So she's going to be talking about all the exciting things that are going to happen at the Women's Conference. And then we're going to be talking this morning with Pastor Betty Randall. You know, Pastor Randall of Perfecting the Faith Ministries has been blessing us. Oh, my goodness. She has been a part of our four-week series on spring cleaning. And she's going to finish that thing up this morning and put a cute little bow on it. I'm telling you, thank you. Pastor Randall for being obedient to God in our spring cleaning series. Now, you know those healthy living tips? Yes, we have healthy living tips right here on the CBC radio show. Dr. Katrina thompson Boundary, she's going to give us our healthy living tip for this week. So much. Can't tell it all. You just simply have to keep listening. I want to tell you also, friends, this morning that we want to thank the Chocolate Boutique for being one of the sponsors of the CBC radio show. The Chocolate Boutique. You can get your customized chocolates, gift baskets, all that good stuff with Chocolate Boutique. 
Give them a call. 314-649-8164. 314-649-8164. The Chocolate Boutique. Go to my website for more information about all the sponsors of the CBC Radio Show. Well, I'm going to take a break right here. And when we come back, we're going to be talking with Miss Kimberly Ward of Kim's Herb and Detox Center. I'll be right back. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Good morning, everybody. My name is Vance Watt. I'm the worship arts pastor at the Word at Shaw Church here in St. Louis, Missouri, where we serve the community in word and in deed. I'm so excited to be here this morning on the CBC radio show with evangelist Nona Thomas. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and your family to come worship with us at the Word at Shaw at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're located at 4265 Shaw Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Or you can visit our website at www.thewordatshaw.com. Org. God bless. Good morning. This is Veronica Logan of VL Production. I would just like to invite everyone out to our show that's coming up on May the 22nd at the Jewel Box in Forest Park at 6 p.m. Anyone interested in coming to the dinner will be a $35 donation. Please come out and enjoy. For more tickets and information, please call 314-537-0239. And that's Miss Veronica Logan. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you about the buzz around town on the new opening, the grand opening of Kim's Herb and Detox Center. I'm so excited about this woman because the vision that God has given her, it's just not being done right here in St. Louis the way she's doing it. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show this morning, Miss Kimberly Ward. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am. I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. Good. Now, you know, I didn't prep you on this question. Okay. But this is a question I ask everybody before we start the show on the program. Okay. And that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Absolutely. Are you rejoicing? Yes, I am. Are you glad in it? Very glad. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful. Well, I know you're glad. I know you're just so excited about this business. I know the Lord has given you a great vision for Kim's Herb and Detox Center. So tell us about how did God give you the vision for this? Yeah, I think it actually began when I was in college. Um, I just had this sense of wanting to be healthy and had no idea what I was doing. I just started eating nuts and seeds and raisins, and I just had no clue. And then after that, um, I started getting involved with, like, multi-level marketing um, uh-huh. in the area and um, selling a lot of natural herbal products. Uh-huh. That was kind of my introduction to it um, before where I am now. Uh-huh. And then after that... Um, I started an online herbal store called Kimberly's Herb Shop. Mm -hmm. And it was basically um, a way for me to sell products, but it was a low risk. It was a very low risk way to do this. And I believe God wanted me to step out all the way and do a store. So I was trying to do it the safe way. And of course, it didn't really kick off the way I wanted to. Mm -hmm, So then mm -hmm. I just turned 50 and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do what God has for me. So I just stepped out and I'm opening up a herbal store and it's opening up this weekend. Well, you know what? Let, let me just go back about three sentences. Uh, <laughs> uh, my listeners, when she said that she just turned 50, I want to be a witness. You can't see her, but I'm going to be a witness to say she looks nowhere near 50. OK. <laughs> Thank you. And there's such a glow in your skin, such a glow in your skin. Thank oh, does you. that have anything to do with the herbs and the detox? I wonder. Yeah. I mean, I try to eat healthy and mm-hmm. I'm into my I mean, everything I sell. I basically use myself, yes. you know, so I want to sell something that I believe in mm-hmm. and that I know that works. That's well, just... I want to tell folks that I recently toured uh, your beautiful, beautiful center. And one of the things that stood out to me that I have got to get my feet in is this foot. I... Ionic foot bath. Ionic foot bath. Tell the li- listeners about that. That's great. Yeah, basically, um, 
the machine causes ionic activity in the water mm-hmm. and it just pulls out toxins from your feet. Mm-hmm. And um, I've done a couple of customers already and they've just been like amazed at what it's done. Wow. Um, someone I just did recently had joint issues and then the water was orange, which indicates joints, mm-hmm. you know, detoxing from the joints. Mm-hmm. So. It's just, it's amazing. So I'm really happy to be able to help people. Let me tell you, St. Louis, if you better hurry up and get in because it's going to be a line around the corner. And uh, that's just a taste of what you can provide in the services at your center. Tell us right. about more. Yeah, um, I also have a bio mat. It's basically an infrared mat and it detoxes from the inside mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. And eventually I want to add more machines and more tools to my to my store, like mm-hmm. a um, infrared sauna mm-hmm. and more like that. So mm-hmm. it's really all about detoxing and getting the environmental toxins out of your body because mm-hmm. um, we're just um, exposed to a lot of that stuff yes. on a daily basis and yes. our food and the air everywhere at work. Yes. <laughs> so it's good to, pro- to do a detox on a regular basis. And, you know, I think most people want to do something different. They're trying to do something different to eat better, to just be more aware of what's around them. Don't you think? I think so. That makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. People are really more focused on their health right now and doing natural alternatives. So mm-hmm. coming to my store, I do offer a lot of a lot of that stuff. So. Yes, yes. Now, you, I think you're conveniently located because I think everybody knows the area that you're in. And as big as the marquee is, uh, we could not miss Kim's Urban Detox Center. Okay, awesome. We could not miss it. But <laughs> give us the address and phone number to where you're located. Um, It's 9634 Olive. Um, in the Olivet area, and the phone number is 314-395-3767. Give it to us one more time, would you? Um, 9634 Olive Boulevard, Olivet, Missouri, and the phone number is 314-395-3767. Wonderful. Let me ask you real quick. You know, we have organizations and we have churches that are uh, a very big part of the CBC radio show. Are you able to go into locations, organizations, churches? ministries and talk about the products or services that you have perhaps to a workshop and just talk about the importance of uh, being healthy can you do that absolutely if they can just contact me with you know at that number mm-hmm. I can look at my schedule and I I would be happy to do something like that, actually. Yes, yes. I, I really think it's needed. In fact, um, you know, we often do the healthy living tip here. Do you think I can get you to give us a healthy living tip? Just maybe a couple that, you know, just some basic things that would help to make folks feel better and enhance their quality of life. You want one now? Yeah. Okay. I know you got one off the top <laughs> of your head. <laughs> um, I would probably say if you have any yeast issues mm-hmm. or candida, mm-hmm. you know, just really watch eating carbs that are white, mm-hmm. like white bread, white potatoes and all that. To help yeah, you kind of reduce like. okay. yes, sugar and all that. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a good one because many people, yeah, yeah, we have succumbed to that. And so, um, but I tell you what, I'm going to have you come back on another time and give us a, an official uh, Kim's Urban Detox Healthy Living Tip. Is that all right? That sounds good to me. That sounds good. Now, we're, we're, we're just about out of time. Is there anything else that you would like to say this morning? Um, I just look forward to people coming into the store and um, I am there to help you with your health issues and give you advice and go from there. All righty. Give us that address and phone number one more time. It's 9634 Olive Boulevard in Olivet, Missouri, and the phone number is 314-395-3767. Wonderful. I'm so excited about the things that God is going to have you do and how you're going to be a blessing to the community. Thank you so much, Miss Kimberly Ward of Kim's <laughs> Herb and Detox Center. Thank you so much for having me. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Good morning, everybody. My name is Vance Watt. I'm the worship arts pastor at the Word at Shaw Church here in St. Louis, Missouri, where we serve the community in word and in deed. I'm so excited to be here this morning on the CBC radio show with evangelist Nona Thomas. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and your family to come worship with us at the Word at Shaw at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're located at 4265 Shaw Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Or you can visit our website at www.thewordatshaw.com. 
God bless. Hi, I'm Kim, owner of Kim's Herbs and Detox Center, and we're located in the Olivet area. Our mission is to offer people natural herbal alternatives for many common health conditions, such as chronic arthritis, hormonal imbalances, digestion issues, and more. We also offer other products to help you maintain your healthy temple, for example, detox kits and vitamin supplements. Come see us at 9634 Olive Boulevard or call us at 314-395-3767. Kim's Herbs and Detox Center, helping you take care of your temple of health. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas, inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you, it will inspire you, it will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m., right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program that we were going to have a dear friend of the CBC Radio Show with us this morning. And he has his annual You Are the Image of God conference coming up. We can't wait to give you all the details. I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Bishop Prentice Thomas. Good morning, Bishop. Good morning, Evangelist. It's so nice to see your lovely smiling face on this morning in the name of Jesus, my God. Truly is him. Truly is him. <laughs> now, you know the question I'm going to ask you. Uh huh. Is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Absolutely. Every day when we're in his presence, we can truly say that this is the day that the Lord has made. And therefore, regardless, we can rejoice and be glad in it. That's oh, the glory right answer, Bishop. You know, oh, you know I'm what to you, say. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, glory be to God. You know, this is a time that God is opening doors for his people. And these are strategic doors in the kingdom. You do not have to worry. You do not have to fret. You have to make sure that you're in line with your purpose and the destiny that God has called you unto. Amen. Because he has enough power, enough ability and resources to get the job done. We also have to understand, evangelists, the time that we are in. We are not it, we are not uh, in the final hour. We're in the end time. We're past the final hour. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. And whether people know it or not or recognize it or not, we are heading toward the, the rapture of the church. We're, yes. we're heading toward that. The things that are happening are transpiring politically, socially, amen, and, and just spiritually. All, all of the signs are lining up. But also the Bible lets us know in the book of Romans chapter 8, I had my Bible turned somewhere else, it talks about that all the creation is groaning and waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God because as they manifest, that is also a sign and trigger, amen, also of the approaching rapture and catching away of the saints. But in the church, the people's mentality is not in that realm where it should be. We know the fivefold ministry, the apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher is designed for the perfecting of the saints, work of the ministry, edifying of the body till we all come to the, to the uh, full maturity, mm -hmm. amen, mm -hmm. and of the knowledge of the Son of God. But what God is looking for now is for our mentalities, our minds to be uh, retrained and elevated taken to the, the, to the place of where we understand who we are as the image of God. Yes. We have to understand who we are as the image of God. Now, we are created in God's image and likeness in Elohim. That's Hebrew for God. That is the first, that is the first manifestation of man being God's image. But that image failed in the garden through Adam. Okay, so then when Jesus, Yahshua the Messiah, when Jesus Christ came his job, well, I can say it that way, his job was to bring us back to our original position. Mm -hmm. Our original position is as sons and daughters of God. And he said for us to take dominion, to take dominion in the earth realm. But how can you take dominion, evangelist, if you don't really know who you are? Who you are. If you don't really know who you are. Not that I'm a doctor, a lawyer, a disc jockey, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. No. We have to know who we are from our creator, mm -hmm. from our creator. 
creator. And regardless to the Big Bang Theory and the and Doran stuff and all the rest right. of that, amen, God came to me personally in regards to this, in regards to this mandate, in regards to this assignment. He said, you are to impact your generation with you are the image of God. So that counsels out all of the other uh, uh, books, all the other philosophies, all the other things that science and, and people with uh, 55 degrees, mm -hmm. the whole nine yards. He said, impact your generation with you are the image of God. With that mentality, evangelists, amen, it will line the people up to be able to walk with God, mm -hmm. to walk with God, not as servants, not as slaves, not as Christians. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. My God. But as his sons mm -hmm. and, and daughters, because that's what J Jesus is the seed. Mm-hmm. To produce more like him. Yes. We're not talking about somebody walking around with a robe and a beard, talking about they're holier than that. No, 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 no. The image of God fits the society, fits every, every ram of, of existence, of occupation, the whole nine yards. So during this conference that we're having, we have different guest speakers that are coming. Amen. We have uh, Pastor Kelly. Yes. Say her whole name for yes. me. Lisa mm -hmm. Kelly Tate. Yes, okay. She's, she's going to be, be one of the speakers. Speakers. That's on Thursday night. We also have Pastor Marcus Nichols. Amen. He's going to be Wednesday night. Mm, Glory be to God. Lord. And then we have uh, Bishop Dr. Reynold Thomas, who has his own Bible college. Yes. He's going to be a speaker. We also have Dr. Edna Letha Long, a Christian Girls Center, who has her own Bible college. She will also be one of the speakers. Amen. We uh, also have Prophet Shirley Johnson. We also have our out-of-town guest, uh, Dr. Stephen Hamilton from Houston, Texas, his mm -hmm. wife, Dr. Barbara Hamilton from Houston, Texas, mm -hmm. amen, and Pastor A.C. Uh, AC Richards from Chicago, Illinois. Now, it's two luncheons, two luncheons. Mm -hmm. That's on Thursday and Friday mm -hmm. from 11 to 1. You have guest speakers for those luncheons, mm -hmm. amen. And then also on Saturday, we have the banquet at 6 o'clock. Now, people who come to the conference, the price of the conference is $45. Mm -hmm. That that include the gift bag, include a luncheon and the banquet ticket. Wow! And, and you and you know we have our we have our own chef, chef uh, Darkus, and oh my God! And he's a professional. I've had and, his food before; it's delicious. <laughs> delicious. And so and so and that's that's for the conference. Now, Amen. Uh, at two o'clock each each day. Uh, two o'clock on Thursday and two o'clock on Friday, I will be teaching on the basic doctrine of the image of God. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very important. Glory be to heaven. So all these guest speakers, plus we're, we're putting a, uh, a choir together and, and having, you know, uh, other guests and things. But this is the conference that they want to be in. Now, we want to make sure folks have those dates, Bishop. That mm -hmm. is May 25th through the 29th. That's Wednesday yes. through Sunday. Uh -huh. My goodness, everything is going on during the day and the mm -hmm. even nightly services. Uh -huh. Now, mm -hmm. that is going to be held at mm -hmm. the State of the Art School, which is located at 4130 East Lexington, uh -huh. zip code 63115. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, the registration deadline is coming up. Uh -huh. The registration deadline is May 14th, so we need mm -hmm. folks to Hurry on because this is mm. going to be a great blessing, isn't it, Bishop? Uh -huh. Yes, yes. And so they can also call the number here, which is uh, 314-261-4348. And um, uh, because some of you are just hearing it, we can go past the uh, the deadline, which is May 14th. Uh -huh. They can just call in and get their, uh, you know, their registration, registration and everything. That's a uh, blessing. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Because uh, this is a mandate, this word and this impartation has to happen for the people. Our theme is the same seed taking dominion. And the scriptures are Galatians chapter 3 verse 29, Colossians chapter 3 verse 10, and 1 John chapter 3 verse 1. Uh, we have to understand that we are no longer, it's, it's time for the body of Christ to come to the next level, next dimension of where God is. When the 21st century came in, things changed. 
You know, reformation has happened. Reformation is when God brings things into a more perfect alignment. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's doing with this, with people discovering that they are the image of God. Amen. Glory be to heaven. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Well, I, one thing I tell you, Bishop, this is your annual event. And yes. we know from the last conferences that mm-hmm. God has done some amazing things. And we yes. expect no less. We expect yes. even more in yes. 2016 on what he's going to do. Yes. Bishop, yes. we are out of time. Oh, but my God. I, I know that you're going to be, you promise you're going to be back on the show with me next week. I sure am going to and be the back with my that. evangelist. Yes. <laughs> and the week after that, in the name of Jesus, Amen. my God. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, friends, let me tell you one more time. We are talking about the Image of God conference, and mm-hmm. that is May 25th through the 29th, right there at the State of the Art School, located mm-hmm. at 4130 East Lexington. The mm-hmm. phone number to call to get those tickets, 314 314- Two six one four three four eight. Thank you for being of the a part of the CBC Radio Show today, Bishop. Oh, it's it's always a joy to be with my evangelists. I also want to say that on the 29th, that Sunday, Bishop uh, Lindsay is going to be uh, our speaker. But everybody need to be a partaker of this. I'm I'm also will be speaking from my manuscript from the book that I'm writing on. You are the image of God can't wait to hear more about it next week bless you bishop thank you all right friends we're going to take a short break stay with me i'll be right back good morning welcome back to dr tebow's Cairo healthy living tip today's topic will be ear infections while ear infections can occur at any age they are most common in childhood and infancy ear infections are the reason half of visits to your medical doctor happens some symptoms can include pain often throbbing fever pressure, or a feeling of fullness, nausea or vomiting, poor sleep, a decrease in appetite, or earaches which causes tugging at the ear. So what can you do to get better? Well, take a listen and apply these tips. Number one, diet. Dietary suggestions will definitely help alleviate the pain. Fresh fruits and vegetables will help build the immune system and discourage infections. If it's an infant, switching the bottle-fed babies to a non-dairy formula under your doctor's supervision will be mindful. If you are breastfeeding, mothers should avoid cow's milk ingestion so that this does not pass through to the baby. Eating organic will really help. Eliminating sugar, honey, dried fruit, and concentrated juices will be a plus. Number two, hydrotherapy. Alternating hot and cold towels, often in the affected ear, can help relieve the pain and inflammation. Number three, humidifiers. Humidifiers are great. This helps significantly moderate the environmental change. It will help lower the humidity, reduce nasal swelling, and reduce ventilation. Number four, chiropractic. Chiropractic care helps reduce symptoms and complications by relieving pressure of the off fuse station tube. These treatments are helpful for improving motion and upper neck usage to increase the proper drainage. Chiropractic care is shown through evidence to be helpful within 10 days and lower than five adjustments. Remember that your health is important and your spine is too. Start now getting adjusted because it can make a big difference for you. If you have any questions, you can reach me at 636-336-8049, 636-336-8049, or follow me on Instagram at The Pocket Doctor. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, didn't I say at the top of the program that we were waiting for Won't He Do It? (laughs) That is the theme for the upcoming women's conference that is being hosted by Pastor Doris Bracely. I'm so excited about it, and we're so honored to have this woman of God on the program with us again this morning. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Pastor Doris Bracely. Bracely. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning, and how are you today? I am wonderful. I'm giving God the glory, the honor, and the praise I am. <laughs> and I'm getting ready to almost take away the answer to the question you know I'm going to ask you. What? Which is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? 
It most certainly is. It's a day that I've never seen before, a day that you never had before. So I am expecting something powerful and something great and awesome on today. Amen. 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 Well, you know, Pastor, uh, the theme that the Lord gave you for your upcoming women's conference is just so wonderful because God has shown himself over and over again that he will do it, hasn't he? Yes, he have. Yes, he have. And so, and, and, and I guess I need to ask you, you know, how did how did the Lord give you this particular theme for the conference this year? Well, um, I have been through some things in my past, and there was so much opposition, so much, so many attacks, mm-hmm. and just so many things that I was going through, and uh, it just looked like God was not moving. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But the Lord began to speak to my spirit. He said, I'm able to do it. And at this season, I am going to do it. I am going to manifest myself. Yes. And he began to show himself over and over and over again. And it just dropped in my spirit. Won't he do it? Amen. <laughs> oh, my God. Because it just looked like he wasn't going to do it. It just looked look like it wasn't going to happen. Yeah. So this is why I always say, don't go by what it looked like. Mm-hmm. Because the God that we serve, he's able. Yes, he is. Amen. Yes, he is. Yes, he yes. is. You know, Pastor, just the theme. Okay, we haven't gotten to the scripture that you're backing that up with, which is First Thessalonians uh, verses 5 through 24. Just the words, won't he do it? That'll make you shout right there if you really, really know that God has done it over and over for you. Am I right about it? Absolutely right. Absolutely. If we, as people of God, if we continue to believe God's word mm-hmm. and stand on it, no matter what, because the enemy is going to make things look like God is not going to do it. Mm-hmm. That's his job. Mm-hmm. But our job is to keep our eyes on God and his word, no matter what. What? Yes, yes, yes. No matter what. No matter what. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, you know, I believe that uh, it just wouldn't be enough time on Radio Land or in person no. for you to give the testimonies over and over That's on right. how God has blessed and kept you and your husband, Bishop Bracely, with stepping into the light ministry, how God has done it over and over again. Am I right? <laughs> you are so, so, so right. How, how the Lord has just shown himself manifest himself, stepped in right at the appointed time when it looked like things was just going to just fall for us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yes. Uh, I want to let my listeners know that if you're just tuning in, I'm talking this morning with Pastor Doris Bracely of Stepping Into the Light Ministries, and we're talking about this women's conference, simply the theme entitled, Won't He Do It? Now, that's coming up May 21st at 1030 a.m. It's going to be at the Church of Salvation, located at 45. 45, Dr. Martin Luther King, right here in St. Louis, zip code 63113. Now, Pastor Bracely, you know, the Lord placed it on your heart that there's no registration fee. It's free admission. Is that correct? Absolutely. Um, it's free admission. We have a, we're going to be serving a free, lunch, a free lunch as well. And we're just asking for an offering. We just want the ladies to be blessed. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I know we are, first of all, uh, your speakers. Oh, my goodness. You got some some powerhouses speakers, don't you? Tell us about your speakers. Oh, girl, yes, yes. Well, we have our very own Pastor Kanoe Clark. Mm-hmm. Amen. And we know God is doing great things in her and great things in her life. Amen. Yes. God is elevating and promoting her in her ministry. Yes. Yes. And then we have... Um, our Pastor Johanna Freeman, amen, yes, powerhouse, yes. anointed woman of God, <laughs> ready to come and do some damage against the kingdom of darkness. Yes, Amen, yes. and we are expecting to hear what God is speaking through them in this season, mm-hmm. in this hour. Mm-hmm. So you got to know what God is saying in this season. Mm-hmm. That's and, right. And, and, and God will appoint the right man or the right woman of God for that time to 
prophetically speak what God is telling them to speak prophetically, amen, at that particular time. And these women of God, amen, we already know they're going to bring it, amen. They are, they are. I've yes. I've been privileged many times to hear Pastor Kanoi uh, Clark speak, and oh my goodness, just, just hold on to your seat, okay? And yes. then recently, I was privileged to also hear Pastor Johanna Freeman, and oh my goodness, she is something else. So yes, we're what in a blessing. for a good time. <laughs> yes, what a blessing, what a blessing. You know, uh, Pastor, you also have... Uh, uh, as your minister of dance, uh, Deborah Cook. Now, I I witnessed her as well at something recently, and oh my goodness, the power of God is all over. Yes, yes. Um, I've seen Deborah Cook grow over the years. You know, she's one of our members, and uh, she is our praise dancer for mm-hmm. the house. Mm-hmm. And God is just truly raising her up. And, and, you know, that's what it's all about. God raising us up for his glory. Amen. Mm -hmm. And uh, Minister uh, Deborah Cook is is just all over the place right now. And God is just using her. And wherever she goes, the glory of God. God mm. falls down mm. in our atmosphere. Amen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's what we need. You know, uh, times are so severe right now, as you know, Pastor, that we don't have time for church as usual. We're not just, you're not just having a women's conference to just say, oh, I had a, wi- a women's conference. No, there is a purpose, a plan, and deliverance and being set free. That's what this is about, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely, because I truly want to see the women get free. Mm-hmm. I want them to, uh, to come up in a place in their in their in a walk with God, in a faith walk. Mm-hmm. To mm-hmm. let them know in a faith walk, God is able to do the impossible mm-hmm. if you only believe. And this is why the Lord gave me this for this particular time. Won't He do it? Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. You know, something you said earlier, Pastor, when you talked about the seasons and the hour, you know, we really have to be attuned into the Holy Spirit and listening to his appointed messengers because, you know, the seasons change, the hours change, and we need to know what God is saying right now. Yes. Yes, truly, we, as the body of Christ, we need a right now rhema word from God. Hmm. Not just coming together, having church. Now, I need, we need to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to us in this particular hour. Amen. Amen. Yes. In, in this hour, this minute, in this second woman of God. Yes. yes. <laughs> and you know, you're so Absolutely. blessed. You're, you're truly a blessed woman because you have the support of your husband, Bishop Jerome Bracely, and he's behind you in everything you do. And that, that certainly helps, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, that is a big help right there to have the support that mm-hmm. you need. Because, you know, at this time that we're in, we need to support each other and have each other's back in, mm-hmm. in ministry. Because I always say, you know, a lot of times that ministry is not easy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's not hard either. But it's not easy either. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So uh, yes. yes, yes, yes. Well, I'm so I'm so excited that the Lord has equipped you, prepared you, and you have you said yes, Lord, and you're obedient because we. Yes. Are, I can't wait. I cannot wait to the won't he do it women's conference. We're, we're yes. just about out of time, pastors. Or anything else that you'd like to say in closing? Well, I would like to encourage everyone to come out, and not just come out to us conference or service, but to get your expectations up Mm -hmm. now so that when you put yourself in that position to come and when you get there, whatever you believe in God for, we're believing that God is going to do it. Amen. Amen. That's 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 a good closing right there, Pastor. Right there. Right there. Well, I just want to say to our listeners one more time, uh, we're talking with Pastor Doris Bracely, the host of the upcoming Women's Conference, Won't He Do It? Now, that's going to be May 21st, 1030, Church of Salvation, 4545, Dr. Martin Luther King. Free admission, no registration fee, a light lunch will be served. Pastor, give us the phone number quickly on if folks want more information. Well, they can always call 314-312-5842, and they can personally ask for me, Pastor Doris Bracely. 
wonderful. Bless you, woman of God, and all that you do. Thank you for being on the CBC radio show today. You're welcome. All righty, friends. We're going to take a short break. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm Kim, owner of Kim's Herbs and Detox Center, and we're located in the Olivet area. Our mission is to offer people natural herbal alternatives for many common health conditions, such as chronic arthritis, hormonal imbalances, digestion issues, and more. We also offer other products to help you maintain your healthy temple, for example, detox kits and vitamin supplements. Come see us at 9634 Olive Boulevard or call us at 314-395-3767. Kim's Herbs and Detox Center, helping you take care of your temple of health. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas, inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you, it will inspire you, it will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So, tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m., right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Good morning, everybody. My name is Vance Watt. I'm the worship arts pastor at the Word at Shaw Church here in St. Louis, Missouri, where we serve the community in word and in deed. I'm so excited to be here this morning on the CBC radio show with evangelist Nona Thomas. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and your family to come worship with us at the Word at Shaw at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're located at 4265 Shaw Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Or you can visit our website at www.thewordatshaw.com. Org. God bless. Welcome back to the CBC radio show. Friends, we are counting down the days to the upcoming First Lady of God, Pastors and Evangelists, Hat Showcase and Fashion Show Gala. That's going to be at the Jewel Box in Forest Park, Sunday, May 22nd. We're so blessed to have the founder of VL Production on the program this morning. And we're just going to talk about this exciting event. So I want to welcome to the CBC radio show, Mrs. Veronica Logan, good morning. Good morning to you, Evangelist Thomas. You know, uh, every day is a great day, isn't it? Absolutely. So I'm just going to ask you, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Yes, this is the day the Lord has made. And you're rejoicing and you're glad in it? I am very glad in it. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, it doesn't matter if it's raining, if it's snowing. It, it, it doesn't matter what's going on as long as the S-O-N is shining. We are right, aren't we? Absolutely. <laughs> well, you know, we're, we're counting down the days, and I just want you to just tell us about some of the exciting things that are going to go on at your gala on Sunday, May 22nd. Well, we're going to be dining about 6 o'clock, and we're going to be uh, catered by the pasta house. So they have some good food and good salad. They so do. we're going to feast off for that. Mm-hmm. And then after the fashion show, I mean, I'm sorry, after the dinner, we're going to um, be a, go through the awards program. Everyone who's getting honored that day, including yourself. Yes. Then we're going to start off with the fashion show. We have some um, fine women that have gone through the uh, era, and Alice Marie Couture Boutique is going to be one of the persons that's going to be starting off the fashion show. She makes her own clothes, so we're going to have her to start it off, mm-hmm. and we're going to have some hairstyles coming in, because it's also going to be a hair showcase. Wow. And then Miss Phyllis Jones, with the dress code boutique, she's going to end it with the grand finale, and as I had stated before, she has some very unique gowns for all sizes, even up to a 2 or 3X. So, and she has some kid clothing also. You're going to have a little bit of everything there, aren't you? Yes, we are. We don't even have Avon, uh, Mary Kay, and then uh, Roxy Jones. She has her own luxury style of hair. So she has a... Um, a website, her luxury, luxury her direct, I'm sorry, is her website. So you can get more information when you call and I can give you her information if anybody interested in her. her. You know, let, let me just take a pause right there. I am very familiar with Miss Roxy and she does have some wonderful, wonderful uh, products and services. She really does. So I know that's going to be a treat. It will be a treat. Mm-hmm. And so tell us about, you know, uh, the the foundation of this, uh, Veronica. Tell us, how did God really give you this vision um, to have this event? Well, basically, I always have a lot of fashion shows. And I just wanted to kind of step up another level. And I thought about all the women who serve God and how nice they look. So it would be kind of normal for them to come out 
and dress as they dress on Sundays and even during the week. Some of them just have some beautiful garments that they wear every mm-hmm. day. Mm-hmm. And so I thought it'd just be nice to showcase some of them and their beauty. Yes, yes. Now, I know one thing that I think is really cool because, you know, I love networking events. There is going to be a specific time that, you know, the folks are going to be able to mingle and see who's in the room, businesses, individuals, and all that, right? Yes, ma'am. That's going to be during the course of 6 to 7.30, so once we get through eating, we can kind of um, fellowship with each other. Mm-hmm. And also the vendors, they can visit the vendors mm-hmm. and talk to them about their business and how they got started and anything else they want to buy from them or purchase. They can see the vendors at that time from 6 to 7.30 because during the show, you just don't want to be talking to nobody, basically, because you're going to be so excited about seeing the hairstyles, the head show, and the fashion that's going on. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait for it. You know, one of the uh, the things, one of the many gifts and talents that you have is event planning and event coordinating. So this is not a new thing for you to do. You do it uh, everywhere. Can you tell us about those services? Because there may be folks listening right now who may need to, uh, you know, call you about their upcoming events. Yeah, they can absolutely call me. Um, I don't really charge anyone. Whatever I feel like if it's a donation, and it may not be anything. I always make flyers for people. I make business cards for people, and just to help them out with their business. If I can give them a few pointers, I would do that, too. And sometimes I eat a model myself. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I have had a lot of fashion shows with Miss Phyllis Jones at the Jewel Box. And uh, she, like I said, she has gardens for everyone. So I have modeled a lot of her stuff. I believe you have. Now, this could also be a mother-daughter uh, affair where, you know, moms can bring their daughters or daughters can bring their moms. I mean, it's really uh, across the board, isn't it? Absolutely. And not only that, we're also going to be doing a lot of photo shooting. So if they purchase a package for $35 for the dinner, they get a free uh, 8x10, a photo shot to come in. And whoever they want to take it with, that's fine, too. So with the $35 package, they also get a free photo with that. Wow. Okay. Okay. You know, let's take a second. What phone number can folks get in contact uh, to get their tickets and to be involved? Okay. They can reach me at 314 537 0239. Give it to me one more time. 314-537-0239. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, are, are vendors, do you still have any room left for vendors? Right now I have two. Two booths left. Okay. Two okay. booths left. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I would think that they need to call ASAP <laughs> to right. jump on those two booths. Absolutely, because I haven't confirmed those two. Yes, some uh, one had interest of it, but they haven't actually confirmed it, so I'm still having it out there until they confirm it. Indeed, indeed. What do you want folks to know from your heart about this special event? Well, I just want them to know if they have anybody that they'd like to celebrate as far as a first lady. Uh, get them in on the program so they can be celebrated and have a good time. Mm-hmm. And one thing that's very important about this event, I believe, it, it really is community as well because you're bringing different churches together. You're bringing different first ladies and those in the fivefold together, right? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Well, I tell you what, we can't wait for it. I want to let my listeners know if you're just tuning in, you are listening to Miss Veronica Logan of VL Production. She's promoting the First Lady of God, Pastors and Evangelists Hat Showcase and Fashion Show Gala. Now, that's coming up at the Jewel Box in Forest Park on Sunday, May 22nd at 6 p.m. We're just about out of time. Miss Veronica, is there anything else you'd like to say this morning? Yes, if anyone interested in coming to the dinner, we would like for you to RSVP no later than May the 18th, which is this Wednesday coming up. Wonderful, wonderful, because I know those tickets are going to go fast, and you want to make sure that everybody can be accommodated. Well, I want to thank you again, Mrs. Veronica Logan of VL Production, for being a part of the program today. And thanks for having me, Avengers Thomas. You're welcome. All right, friends, we'll take a break. I'll be right back. Good morning, Radio Land. Praise the Lord. Hi. My name is Pastor Doris Bracely from Step Into the Light Ministry at 1402 Hebert. I am coming to you all today to invite personally, to invite you out to come to our women's conference. Uh, This is one of the 10th women's conference that I have had, praise God. And this particular one is called 
Won't he do it? Amen. Won't he do it? Won't God do it? If you continue to trust God and just believe that God is able to do what you are believing God for in this hour, when you step in the hour, when you step in that hour, when you step into that atmosphere, God is going to do it. Amen. We expect it for you and each and every last one of you to come. Come out. Bring somebody. Expect for God to do the miraculous. Amen. We're going to be located at Church of Salvation, 4545, Martin Luther King. Amen. We all know where Martin Luther King is. Amen. We're going to start at 1030 in the morning. We're going to have a morning service. Amen. We're going to break. We're going to have a light lunch. Amen. We're going to feed you real good. And then we're going to have gifts. And then we're going to have our afternoon service. We have some dynamic speakers that's going to be there. We also got a dynamic praise and worship dance. Sir, amen. We're expecting for God to do something different, something something that we have not experienced, amen, just in a regular church service. So I'm expecting for, and I am personally inviting you to come. My phone number is 314-312-5842. If you need any further information, please feel free to give me a call. Pastor Doris Bracely from Stepping Into the Light Ministry, and Bishop Jerome Bracely is my husband. Thank God and praise God. Amen. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomason. I was talking at the top of the program, friends, about our spring cleaning and how blessed we have been in these last weeks as Pastor Betty Randall of Perfecting the Faith Ministries has brought to us from her heart and from the heart of God a series on spring cleaning, getting your your spiritual house right, okay? Not just your your physical frame, but I'm talking about the house, the uh, the house inside. And so she's going to conclude her four-part series this morning. So I want to welcome back to the CBC Radio Show, Pastor Betty Randall. Good well, morning, Pastor. Well, praise the Lord and God. Good morning to you, Evangelist. I'm just so excited today uh, talking about spring cleaning and about the Word of God and how He's blessing. You know, we've been talking about uh, it's a season Mm -hmm. for everything under the sun. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, we we talked about uh, repenting, Mm -hmm. a season for repenting. Getting our house ready, getting our house in order. Mm-hmm. You know, once we repent, we clear up a whole lot of old stuff. And then after we repent, we have to forgive. Mm-hmm. Amen? Amen. So that we don't carry no stuff. Praise God. And then after we forgive, we got to confess. Mm-hmm. We got to talk about it. Oh, yeah, I, I forgive you. I uh, you know what? I, I'm sorry. And so we, we're just so grateful and just so thankful that God has blessed us to go to thus, thus far. Yes, he has. So we, yes. we're going to go to Roman 10 this, this morning. All right. So you're going, you're going to close us out with a bang this morning? We're, 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 going, to, uh, we're going to close out with a bang. Because <laughs> that's what we done cleaned up. You know, once you clean your house up. You want to sit down and have some tea or coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Amen. You want to be able to relax. That's right. Amen. So we've been cleaning up. We've been repenting and crying and forgiving and confessing and, and all that good stuff. Yes. So yes. now we're going to clean this thing on up. Well, Pastor, I tell you what, I'm going to step all the way out so you can step all the way in and give us what God is saying on our final session of spring cleaning. Go right ahead, Pastor Randall. Hey Amen. We're going to go to Romans. and We're going to go to Romans 8, chapter, and the 28th verse. Praise the Lord. And you know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Now, we, we done repented because we love God and we want things to be right. We done been given and we come back. And now we, we, we going through. So, we're, But we know that all things, no matter what it is, no matter what it looks like, work together for the good of them that love God. And to him, to them, that with whom is called to his purpose, according to his purpose. 
See, he's, he's called us out to do a work. But, you know, you, you, you can't wear any kind of uniform to work. you you got to be dressed up. you got to put on the whole armor of God. <laughs> Amen. And so we're putting on the armor of God so that we can go to work. So we're relaxing right now, getting our, set, getting our house in order so we can go to work. Because we got to do whatever it is that he called us to do. For whom he did pre, for he, whom he did know, he also did predestinate to the, um, he did predestinate. Now, God is, is, is real, and whenever he calls you to do something, he's going to satisfy it by setting it up for you. All you have to do is just obey. That's where we come in now. We're obeying God. We're obeying God. We're going to do what he called us to do because we know that all things work together for the good of those whom he called according to his purpose. Not your purpose, not my purpose, but his purpose. Now, we're going to go jump over here to chapter 10 because our time is so limited. We're going to jump over here to chapter 10, and uh, we're going to look at um, the first verse. It says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God. But Israel is. Now, we're Israel that they might be saved. Now, it, Paul's talking about people being saved. That's what we're about. That's what we're about. That's what we pray. our prayer is, our heart desire and prayer. But they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. Now, it's not our righteousness, not our way. It's the way the Lord has set up for us. That's the way that we want to go. Praise God. Sometimes it seems hard for us to do it God's way. So, so we have to what? Submit ourselves. Praise God. So the word says, have, we have to submit ourselves unto the righteousness of God. Not unto our own stuff, but unto the righteousness of God. There is a way, and there is a way. It's a way that seems right to unto men, but the way is righteousness unto God. A lot of things that's going on now is socially acceptable, but it's not righteousness. It's not righteousness unto God. And that's what we want to stick to. We want to stick to the Word of God and do whatever God calls us to do. Because the Lord has already let us know that He wants us to be saved. It is His will that all flesh will be saved. Praise God. By the wedges of sin is death. And if we don't if we don't come far, we're gonna die and go to the lake. That's just what the word says. So we wanna come far. We we wanna get our house in order, breaking up our foul ground, doing the things that God has called us to do according to his uh, righteousness. Not according to our righteousness, but according to his righteousness. For he is real, he is good. And he's good all the time. He's he's all the time good. And so whatever, whatever we wake up in the morning, we are blessed. Whenever we wake up in the morning, able to move, the, have the activities of our limbs, we are blessed. Whenever um, the enemy is always busy, and uh, because of that, we know that we're blessed, that all things are going to work together because we're going to go through this test. We know where it comes from. We're going to go through this trial. We know where it comes from. We're going to forgive, even though it hurts, because we know where it comes from. We know the blessings that's ahead. So with that, I'm going to say God bless you and have a wonderful day. And I tell you, God is good all the time, and he's just waiting on you. Amen. 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 What you say, Pastor, he's waiting on us. And, you know, so often people will say, well, I'm waiting on God. Well, he he, he finished it at the cross. He's waiting on us. <laughs> no, I stand at the door and knock. Yeah. Ooh, Hallelujah. Let me in. Hallelujah. <laughs> Pastor, I just want to say thank you. You have blessed us with four weeks of spring cleaning, truly speaking to our spirit, speaking to our inner man. And I thank you for being an Praise obedient God. servant of God to do that. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you so much. God bless you. All God right, friends, we're going to take a short break. And when we come back, well, I won't tell you. You're just going to enjoy it. I'll be right back. 
Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Friends, haven't we had a great time this morning as we always do? Oh, I just love God. He always works it out. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Well, I want to thank my guest this morning. Thank you, Pastor Doris Bracely. Thank you, Miss Kimberly Ward. Thank you so much, Bishop Prentice Thomas. Thank you, Veronica Logan. Thank you, Pastor Betty Randall. All of my guests today, thank you for being just wonderful, being great, great, great as you are. For more information about the CBC radio show and all of of my advertisers and sponsors go to the website the cbc radio show.com and don't forget to go to the website to get more information about the new christian business connection tv show as always in closing to god be the glory christian business connection connecting your business or ministry to the world